As India begins its parliamentary elections, some international media outlets have noted that Muslims are the primary abstainees from these elections. The Indian parliamentary elections, the world's largest, began on Friday 19th of April, where millions of citizens will choose their government for the next five years. These elections will span six weeks, during over which 10% of the Earth's population, totaling 970 million, will vote across 21 states in India. However, the population exceeding 200 million Muslims, who make up 15% of India's population, are the largest abstainee group in the current Indian elections, with no discussion of their demands, interests or grievances being raised. To discuss this further, we have with us Sheikh Mustafa Adib al-Hindi from India Lucknow. Salaamu Alaikum. Alaikum as uh, given that Muslims make up 15% of India's population, Sheikh, uh, but are notably absent from the current elections, what factors might be the contributing to the absence from the political discourse, do you think? The main factors about, uh, about the absence of uh, Muslims from the, uh, this, these general elections, as for uh, concerned with the, our compare with the previous election, is that the main ruling party, that is the NDA or the Bharti Jan mainly they have not given any ticket or any representation to the Muslims even for the candidacy for the elections in out of 523 seats that they are going to contest they have only three people they are that are named Muslim in all over India that are the candidates from the ruling party mm -hmm. and from the other party that is now known as India uh, that is a coalition of Congress and other left wing parties and the so-called uh, secular parties they have also the list which has been given till date till today uh, about the six phases of elections uh, from the seven phases they have only 30, 40 candidates that are muslims so main parties are not giving candidacy to the muslims which means that the muslims are not in the candidacy list from the main parties mm -hmm. the mainly muslim candidates come from the uh, independent candidates or from very regional parties and this shows that the Bharati Janta Party or the ruling NDA alliance is clearly giving the message to their uh, followers or their voters that we are not going or giving any uh, representation to the other uh, uh, religious uh, community in India the Muslims which are on the second part uh, uh, most populated uh, uh, religion in India and they are mm -hmm. totally giving this uh, as a hint that we are going to make India a Hindu state uh, 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 or we make uh, it an uh, image of a Hindu state and, and this is going to help them to win this election uh, by marginalizing the way because the the main uh, system in politics from about 30 to 40 years is that they are going to uh, divide the vote so that the ruling party might get the percentage that they need to rule because they have the 32 33 percent vote factor in the india mm -hmm. the other 67 percent that are going to again against them they are going to divide these 67 percent so that the 33 percent gets the majority and that is the uh, way that by giving other hindus or other parties Muslim candidates or non-Muslim candidates and fighting among themselves, mm -hmm. making it very easy for them to win this election without having a majority. But in this uh, system of democracy, a 33% is winner with the other 67% divided. Mm -hmm. I mean, with over 200 million Muslims in India, and India of course being a secular country, and their concerns seemingly overlooked in this election especially, uh, what potential impact could this absence have on the election results and the representation of the diverse voices uh, within the government, do you think? It has been a very great impact because now we, if we see the central uh, government now, we have only one Muslim minister in the government and in uh, no other minister in other states that are Muslims. In the regional parties, we have some Muslim ministers, but in the center, with the Mr. Narin Modi as the Prime Minister, there is only one minister that is Muslim. And mm -hmm. that shows that uh, they are not uh, giving the right representation to the Muslims. 
and the muslim voices in the parliament will also get going to get lesser and lesser and lesser so the issues the muslim will wait for the other parties or the others to be, come forward and talk for them and that is the main problem for the muslims in india since uh, uh, 50 years or 70 years because they have not uh, been a main part in the politics they are mm -hmm. basically dependent on the other parties that raise the voice for the muslim so it is the time there is a time that muslim come forward make their own political parties or take their say the get their political parties to win get their candidates to win or to try to come in alliance with the other so-called secular parties so that they can get into the parliament some people mm -hmm. who can raise the voices and issues of muslims in the parliament otherwise they are going to be cut off from the mainstream and this will situation will get worse and worse in the coming mm -hmm. days mm -hmm. Uh, that was with us live from Lucknow, India, the representative of the Grand Marjah, Sayyid Sadiq al-Husseini Shirazi, Sheikh Mustafa al-Adib al-Hindi. Thank you very much for your time.